going to do a quick video here for the most common failure point on furnaces. This is super common. It's first real cold night here. So of course, the furnace decided to stop working. Uh, when I got the call, I checked my stats on my nest and it said it started running and then it stopped and then it started again. Uh, and then it, it just couldn't get going once it stopped the last time. And so my suspicion turns out was correct. So let me show you what's going on. All right, we got the furnace cabinet here, took the cover off sitting over there. And so we're gonna look at the internals here. And so when you turn on your furnace and call for heat, first you're gonna have this blower fan will kick on. Uh, it'll blow for a little while. You're full of air coming out of the vents and it'll feel cold. About that time, you're gonna have a piece in here. The igniter will light up and it'll come in on this side or maybe on that side, depending on how your furnace is oriented. So it'll light up kind of bright orange. Then the gas valve will open, release the gas that sprays across one, two, three, four, five burners. In this case, it'll just go flame, 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 flame. And so at the end here, this last one will come on. And if you look down in there, that's the issue. That's what's called a flame sensor. And that senses, as you would imagine, the flame coming out of that last piece. It's important to know that the flame has come on because if gas is spraying through this manifold here and there's not a flame, that means the gas is not igniting and it would be accumulating here. So if a flame ever did come in, boom, it's a safety mechanism. So it needs to know that there's a flame. Sometimes these can accumulate uh, grit, dirt, dust, whatever, soot, uh, and need to be cleaned off. So if they're too dirty, they cannot sense the flame, even if it's there. So it will cause a fault, it'll shut off, and then it'll tell it, uh, you know, it's it, there's not a flame coming in, you can't run it, it's too dangerous, and it'll stay off. And then it'll get cold in the house, you can't fix it. So um, I'll show you how easy it is to get this thing out and clean. First, we'll make sure we shut this off. We've also turned the system off inside. All right, so we've got the quarter inch socket piece on the impact driver. We're just gonna back this out. So it's just the one screw holding it in. So I'm gonna reach in, just pull it out. There we go, the flame sensor pulled out and you can kind of see a little dirt there, a little grit. So we're gonna get a piece of steel wool and some 220 grit sandpaper and just rub it on there, clean it right off, and it'll be able to sense that flame like the day it was new. All right, before we put it back in, you can look, looks a lot cleaner now. Good, still a little darkening, but it's much more clean. So we're gonna pop it back in, turn the furnace on. All right, we've called for heat. So the fan is on now, it's blowing air. Soon you're gonna see, let's move this. You see right down here, igniter there it goes so that is igniting right in front of the first burner then you might hear a click and the gas will come across the manifold one burner at a time there you go you saw it go now this one on the far end is where the flame sensor is newly cleaned off and as long as it's detecting that flame it will stay on pushing hot air into the house. If it cuts off, we'll know that flame sensor has not been cleaned enough or there may be something else wrong. But it seems to be holding on nicely. I'd call that another repair in the books.